Recognizing the symptoms of a heart attack can be life-saving. Did you know that research indicates the frequency of heart attacks has been increasing in recent years due to various factors? According to World Health Organization data, approximately 17.9 million people die each year from cardiovascular diseases. In today's video, we will discuss the causes of heart attacks and the warning signs that precede them. Before we start, do not forget subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell, and hit the like button. Let's begin. 7 Warning Signs Before a Heart Attack 1. Numbness in the left hand or left arm Numbness in the hand or left arm can be an important sign of a heart attack. The chest pain that occurs during a heart attack can spread to the left arm, shoulder, neck, and jaw through nerve pathways. This spread is due to the heart and these areas sharing the same nerve pathways. Pain in the heart muscle spreads along the nerve pathways and can be felt in other parts of the body. The left arm and hand are common areas for this referred pain. The inability of the heart to pump enough oxygenated blood during a heart attack leads to a general lack of oxygen throughout the body. The left arm and hand may be particularly sensitive to this condition, resulting in a feeling of numbness. Stress and muscle contractions in the body can cause nerves to be compressed, disrupting nerve transmission and causing numbness in the hand and left arm. 2. Unexplained fatigue and shortness of breaths. When the heart cannot pump enough oxygenated blood due to narrowed or blocked coronary arteries, insufficient oxygen is delivered to other parts of the body. This condition leads to unexplained fatigue, which is particularly common in women and the elderly, and often overlooked. Conditions that can lead to heart failure or heart attack can affect the body's metabolism, causing a constant feeling of fatigue. When heart muscle cells do not receive enough oxygen, energy production decreases, leading to a general feeling of fatigue. If the heart cannot pump enough blood to the lungs, fluid may accumulate in the lungs, making breathing difficult and causing shortness of breath. When the heart does not get the oxygen it needs, the level of oxygen in the blood drops, requiring faster and deeper breaths to meet the body's oxygen needs, felt as shortness of breath. 3. Jaw pain. Jaw pain can appear as an atypical symptom of a heart attack, and is often seen alongside chest pain or other common heart attack symptoms. Women, the elderly and diabetics, may experience more atypical symptoms of a heart attack. Jaw pain can be common in these groups and should be considered a potential sign of a heart attack. Typically, the pain does not decrease with rest and worsens with physical activity. Jaw pain can feel like pressure or tightness, especially in the jawbone or teeth. If jaw pain occurs alongside other heart attack symptoms, it requires urgent medical attention. If a heart attack is suspected, emergency services should be called immediately. 4. Cold sweats and paleness. Paleness often results from decreased blood flow to the skin and is a common symptom during a heart attack. The body may reduce blood flow to peripheral vessels, skin, and extremities to send more blood to vital organs, brain, heart, leading to paleness. A heart attack can cause a type of shock response in the body. This shock response can lead to blood vessel constriction and skin paleness. Cold sweats occur as a response to severe stress or an emergency. During a heart attack, the body is under extreme stress, activating the autonomic nervous system. This activation triggers the fight or flight response, activating sweat glands and causing cold sweats. If these symptoms appear suddenly or become severe, seeking medical help immediately is important. Early intervention can minimize the damage from a heart attack and be life-saving. 5. Back pain. Back pain can appear as an atypical symptom of a heart attack. These symptoms often appear alongside classic heart attack symptoms such as chest pain and shortness of breath or even without these symptoms. Understanding the relationship between back pain and heart attacks is crucial for quickly and accurately diagnosing those experiencing atypical symptoms. Back pain related to a heart attack typically feels like a squeezing, pressure, or weight. This pain may be concentrated between the shoulder blades or in the upper back. Back pain can start suddenly and be severe. This pain does not go away with rest and worsens with physical activity. Back pain related to musculoskeletal problems typically worsens with certain movements and improves with rest. Heart attack-related back pain is more widespread and deeper, not alleviated by a particular position or movement. 6. Dizziness and fainting. Dizziness and fainting can be significant symptoms of a heart attack. Understanding the relationship between dizziness, 
fainting, and heart attacks is crucial for quick and accurate diagnosis. When the heart cannot pump enough blood during a heart attack, the blood flow to the brain decreases. This condition can lead to dizziness and fainting. Arrhythmias accompanying a heart attack can cause feelings of dizziness and fainting. Dizziness and fainting usually occur suddenly and can be a sign of a serious condition. During fainting, a person may experience a brief loss of consciousness, typically lasting a few seconds to a minute. 7. Digestive disturbances. Understanding the relationship between digestive disturbances and heart attacks is important, especially when symptoms can resemble each other. Heart attack symptoms can sometimes be mistaken for digestive system problems. A. Chest pain and acid reflux similarity. Heart attack. Chest pain is one of the most common symptoms of a heart attack. This pain typically appears in the center of the chest as a squeezing or pressure sensation and may spread to the left arm, neck, jaw, or back. Acid reflux. When stomach acid backs up into the esophagus, it causes a burning sensation in the chest. This condition usually worsens after meals or when lying down. B. Nausea and vomiting. Heart attack. Nausea and vomiting are common symptoms of a heart attack, especially in women. These symptoms result from insufficient oxygenation of the heart. Digestive disturbances. Conditions such as stomach flu, food poisoning, or gastritis also feature nausea and vomiting. C. Indigestion and bloating. Heart attack. Some people may experience indigestion or stomach discomfort during a heart attack. This condition typically accompanies chest pain and may be mistaken for a digestive problem. Digestive disturbances. Indigestion and bloating after meals are common digestive problems and usually related to eating habits. Modern lifestyle and increased risk of heart attacks. Modern lifestyle plays a significant role in the increasing number of heart attack cases in recent years. Modern lifestyle often encourages desk jobs, prolonged computer use, and generally sedentary living. Decreased physical activity increases the risk factors for heart attacks, such as obesity, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Lack of regular exercise can lead to weakening of the heart muscles and loss of flexibility in the arteries, thereby increasing the risk of heart attacks. Consumption of fast food, processed foods, and sugary drinks increases the risk of obesity and metabolic syndrome. Trans fats and saturated fats raise bad cholesterol levels and can cause plaque formation in the arteries, thereby increasing the risk of heart attacks. The work pressure, financial difficulties, and personal stress factors associated with modern life can also increase the risk of heart attacks. Insufficient sleep and irregular sleep patterns, common in modern life, have negative effects on heart health. Heart attack symptoms are serious issues that cannot be ignored. If you notice one or more of the above symptoms in yourself, you should seek medical help immediately. If you've watched the video up to this point, you can support us by subscribing and turning on the notification bell and then liking the video. Have a good day.